Well, hello everyone. My name is Jordan Page Suddeth and I am coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia. If you've seen my videos for the past few months, you've know, you may know that I was in Texas for a while. I was able to fly back here to Vancouver, which is very exciting, and I'm really happy to be back in the city. I apologize if you can hear my dryer going in the background. I had to do laundry, and I was trying to film this video in between doing it, and then I forgot, but I didn't want to film this any later than it already is, so here we are. This whole video, as you can tell by the title, is how to stay motivated to work during the summer. Staying motivated during the summer when you don't really have a schedule or you don't have a school schedule can be really difficult because, you know, it's summer vacation. You kind of just want to hang out, you know, have fun. Uh, if you're in college, you want to visit friends that are maybe back at home, you know, take in the fact that you, well, really whatever grade you're in, you want to take in the fact that you don't have any work to do. However, if you're like me, uh, you may really like having a schedule and sometimes having the summer come around when you don't actually have a schedule to follow may be kind of stressful. Even if you're not like that, you may have work that you need to get done over the summer that because you don't have a schedule that you need to follow, you have to create yourself and that can get difficult. I'm here to tell you some ways that you can keep yourself on track while also having some fun during the summer. This may sound really obvious, but the first thing is I would create a schedule for yourself. Um, I do this uh, not really scheduling out exactly what time I do what, but I use a to-do list. I have a to-do list book that I write down everything that I need to get done, um, typically in the order that I want to do it, but sometimes I do jump around. Um, and then also what's great about that is that throughout the day, if you're doing well on it and you want to add a few things to it, you can. If you yourself are not the best at creating schedules or creating to-do lists for yourself, you can maybe ask a friend or a family member to do it. Uh, just tell them, hey, I need to get this stuff done. I'm not that good at creating schedules, so could you do it and see if they will uh, type one up for you or make one for you. Something really important to remember about this is to keep your goals manageable every day. Sometimes I get frustrated with myself if I have a whole bunch on my to-do list and I look at it at the end of the day and I go, I didn't get all that done. Why didn't I get all that done? Um, and I get really frustrated, but even just, you know, especially during the summer, only, you know, getting one or two things done is a really big accomplishment when there are so many other things that could, you know, be done. Granted, with COVID-19, some of those other activities have been taken away, but if you're like me, you may be watching a lot of Disney Plus or Netflix, and that can be a problem. All that to say, set some small goals for yourself and also write in some breaks, you know, allow yourself to Watch some, watch a few episodes of TV in between some things, you know, maybe while you're eating a meal, if you, you know, aren't eating with your family, you know, that's typically what I do when I'm eating breakfast in the morning. I put on TV shows so I can start out the morning really chill. Um, when I'm eating lunch, I may bring, I may put one on as well. Um, and it's a nice way to kind of give my brain a break uh, before I go back into working. Another thing that you may find helpful if you're finding it a little hard to uh, stay on track, stay motivated, is maybe you want to uh, put your phone really far away from you, put it on silent, put it in, the, in a separate room uh, so you don't look at it, that's really helped me. Or if you're a person who can work with music, I know on Spotify, probably on Apple Music, they have some great uh, you know, playlists that are just music, no lyrics, and so that may help you focus on your task. Even if you don't find just, uh, you know, instrumental music, listening to something that you've always already listened to before, so you're not trying to listen to the lyrics for the first time is also something I would recommend. It is great to get stuff done over the summer and I think it's really important and can really help you, but also remember it is summer. It may be your summer vacation. So have some fun as well. Spend time with family, with friends in this time period. Spend it safely um, and take advantage of your summer. That's about all I have for you guys today, so thank you all so much for watching. This very well may be the last College Express video that I make because I am getting ready to graduate college in about a month, which is very exciting and very terrifying. So thank you all so much for watching these videos. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful future ahead of you, and I don't know when I'll see you all again, but I wish you all the best for your future. Bye.